hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Thank you for clicking on it. Today we're going to review some of my photos that I've taken with my Nikkor Mat FTN. Um, eventually I'm going to go through my first roll, but this is my third roll that was properly developed. So let's get into it. Alright, so this is the first photo. Uh, this was taken from a vehicle. Um, why did I take it? Hmm. Well, I saw this person and I thought to myself, I really like this scene. Don't know why. It doesn't really work. It needs more foreground. I should have had it at a lower aperture, higher, higher aperture, excuse me, something at like f8 or something, but um, this is also, so this disclaimer, this roll is a uh, Cinestill 50D, so you will see the error of my mistakes later, <laughs> but um, yeah. Let's continue. So I took another, so this is the second shot I got, wait, huh, I guess this was scanned in, out of order. This is the first shot, this is the second shot. The first shot makes more sense. Second shot, I wanted to see what portrait would look like instead of landscape. So that's what I did here. And I think I like the portrait more. It zones things in. It really focuses um, everything on it. And in this video, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm recording this on my, on my Chromebook at the moment. So I will have a rubric, perhaps. We'll see. On the side here for you to view uh, that I will now go through. So, overall, I'd give this a 2 out of 5. I mean, it, it's got some interesting aspects, like this right here. This is nice. It makes a nice kind of triangle here. But, other than that, and the small person, I feel like this is just a snapshot. There's nothing really too interesting. So... Um, I'm going to count these as the same one, personally. So, um, two out of five. Is it interesting? Not exactly. Is it unique? No, it's not. Does it have strong composition? No, it does not. Um, aesthetically pleasing? Uh, I suppose you can argue that. But for me, it doesn't have it. Uh, is it funny? No. <laughs> um, would I share this? Um, yeah, I'd probably still share it because uh, someone else might appreciate it in a way that, that I would not have uh, seen in the beginning. So, uh, yeah. So overall, I'd give this, uh, yeah, 2 out of 5. Next photo. I really like buildings. Uh, this was taken in dreary weather. It's been rainy in California. But, uh, the sun is out, so it's nice to be able to look back on this on a sunny day. But, uh, so yeah, let's go over it. Um, everything seems to be in focus. It looks real nice. I really like how the grain looks on here. Even though it's 50D, there is still... A, some grain on here and I, I like it I personally like it so yeah um, I'm gonna say this image overall I'm gonna give it a three out of five um, I just I think it's a pretty I think it is interesting I don't necessarily I don't think it's unique it could be uh, it could be more unique but uh, perhaps it depends on who's looking at it to me, uh, it's not necessarily unique, because I see it all the time. <laughs> but uh, I, 
I captured this when I first saw it. So, I, at the time, I had not seen it all the time, but now I do, and it is now I I see it from that perspective. Um, but when I took it, I thought it was unique. I like the dreariness with the gray, the, the strong, clean white on both sides. It looks real nice. So I think um, I don't think this necessarily has a, a strong composition, uh, but I do think that it's it's solid. I think it's pretty solid. Uh, I think aesthetically it's pretty pleasing uh, with the grain the dreariness but the contrast of colors uh, I don't think this is a funny picture I don't think don't think that uh, you can classify this as comedy and uh, and I would definitely share this absolutely so uh, yeah three out of five here's another one another snapshot I or uh, oh man if I had waited just a little bit longer I could have gotten that bird over here. That would have been nice. Perhaps, I don't remember which way that bird actually ended up flying, but I remember seeing that bird. Um, so, we've got the darkness down here and the lightness up here. That is very nice, I like that. Um, I'd, say, I'd say this image is probably a two out of five. Um, it's not really terribly interesting. It is kind of unique, but um, in its own personal, in its own way. I, I mean, that's what unique is, but you know, uh, I think that, I think it's missing something and I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, I don't think it has strong composition. I think that uh, it, it, it could use a bit more um, foreground and background. The middle ground, though, for sure, uh, definitely need to work on that. Um, aesthetically, I do love it. I love the clouds, how they kind of transition. Um, I love the grain. This looks real nice. I mean, overall, it's pretty, pretty sharp for what it captured. At 50, 50D, I mean... Yeah, this looks real great. Um, it's not funny. Would I share it? Yeah, I'd share it, but uh, I don't think it's my best work. Two out of two out of five. So for this one, I was driving around and I s I see this skyline quite often, but um, I wanted to see how it would look with this particular film stock. Um, and then I think this right here might be uh, something that happened at the lab or I caught a poltergeist not a poltergeist but uh, some kind of spirit I believe <laughs> that's what I'm going to go with so um, yeah I am. since it's blurry I should have shot at a higher shutter speed but uh, didn't necessarily couldn't necessarily do that because it is night so needed a long shutter speed in order to compensate uh, and shoot white I think I was shooting wide open so to capture this but uh, it does have its own so overall I'd give this I give this a three out of five because I do like it I like I like my mess ups <laughs> Perfect, uh, perfect mistakes, right? Are mistakes that, you know, yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, I'd give it a three, two point five, really, two point five out of five. Um, is it interesting? I think it is, but I think that this apparition right here really adds to it. Um, and I, from what I can tell, this is because of something in the development process. Is it unique? Yes, I think it is unique because um, a lot of folks seem to want like real sharp pictures and this is clearly not a sharp picture. If we zoom in here, I mean we can see the buildings, but um, 
definitely... I used a monopod when shooting this. But... Tripods are the way to go for ultimate stability. So, yeah, I'm not sure. But uh, I, I kind of like how everything came out. I like the motion that it captured. And, uh, yeah. Do I think it has a strong composition? Mm, no, I don't. I think because... Uh, it's ambiguity. It's kind. It doesn't have very much. Uh, it doesn't have a language. So, um, but I do think it is aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. Uh, I don't think it's funny unless you think that this could be something funny. <laughs> and um, would I share this? Yeah, I would. So, uh, yeah, two point five out of five. Uh, this one, I should have worked this shot a little bit more, um, gotten this person going into their, uh, going into the building, but, uh, there's this, this tape over here, and I knew that the halation from the lights would come out this way, so I wanted to get the repetition of the these lines here with the lights and then break it I should have broke it with the person so um, because I was impatient um, I'm gonna give this a one out of five and it's a little bit blurry should have uh, should have worked the shot a bit more it's so one out of five is it is it interesting kind of but uh, not terribly interesting uh, there's nothing really that really stands out. I guess you can kind of wonder what this is, but eventually you can figure out that that's a person. Um, is it unique? No, it looks like uh, somebody, maybe this over here, the shadows, that's pretty, I think, unique. The, the halation is uh, Cinestill's trademark, um, so I don't necessarily think that's unique. Um, Strong composition? No, uh, I don't think it does. I think that, uh, again, I should have worked the shot a little bit more. Aesthetically, no, I don't find it. Looking at it now and kind of critiquing it as we're as I'm going, um, I don't think it is a, uh, aesthetically pleasing. Is it funny? Uh, no, n there's no funny story behind it either. Uh, just I saw this caution tape on both floors and the bars and I thought maybe I can work something with that and then this person walked in and I thought maybe they'd go up the stairs up the stairs or something and I'd capture that but uh, I was just impatient so would I share this no I would not but here I am sharing it with you <laughs> all right next photo uh so for this one, walking downtown, let's zoom in at the subject that I was trying to make. I kind of like this double effect going on with the shutter speed. Um, so I like the halation that's going on with the lights, which means that I feel like I probably shot a little too wide open for the shutter speed. I could have probably made the shutter speed a little bit faster uh, to, to capture more or less uh, motion, mo more or less uh, some of the motion. Um, I believe I used a monopod for this and I'm clearly not using it correctly. So, <laughs> or uh, I'm just, my settings are not correct. But um, overall, I'd say um, I'd give this image probably a 2 out of 5. I mean, it's not, terribly, it's not terribly interesting. It's not terribly unique. Um, I mean, I've got these... i got the vehicles. I personally would have... I, I, I should have worked the shot a little bit more before taking the shot. But uh, I really wanted to capture the red and blue here. Um, 
not sure why can't can't recall <laughs> but uh that's what i wanted i guess so um strong composition no uh, i like what's going on right here with these lights that looks real cool um so i i do think it has its own aesthetic but um i don't think it has a solid composition it it, it could be it could be worked on it's definitely a snapshot um, is it funny? It could be, but uh, I don't. Per I personally don't find it funny. And would I share this? No, I don't think I would. Maybe I would. Maybe after some editing, maybe crop it, something. Uh, but overall, no, I would not share this image. All right, and with this one, really getting into the halation. And uh, let's see. Yeah more people really really trying to capture them and their uh, fashion yeah they were wearing some pretty cool stuff but uh, I did not do a good job at capturing that because my shutter speed was at the wrong speed um, but it did capture their motion and I do like that I really do like capturing I like shooting with uh, slow shutter speeds um, and seeing what what comes of them it's really magical to me so is it interesting I think it is I think it is I think with the halation the motion blur of the people you've got three threes threes are good numbers three is a good number uh, I feel like it kind of leads your eyes kind of wander which is what I want uh, is it unique no I don't necessarily think it's unique um, I think the halations from from this makes it unique but uh I don't necessarily think it makes it, anything is uh, pops out as unique. Uh, does it have strong composition? Uh, no, I don't think anything's particularly powerful about it. Um, I mean, I guess you can say that the crosswalk here is uh, using leading lines, but uh, no, I don't. I don't think it has any particular composition. Um, I do think it does have a, a nice aesthetic. This is very nice. And, uh, is it funny? Uh, I think this dog is kind of cute, but I don't think it's funny. Would I share it? Yeah, I would. I'd share this. Big old tires. So I'm going to just give this uh, a 1 out of 10. Because uh, I normally don't shoot signs. But uh, I did want to see how well it worked. Um, at night, of course. And, uh what the grain would look like comparatively and again this is 50 50 this is supposed to be daylight uh so yeah well i i love it i kind of i like the way that it looks i like the fine grain it it's really pleasing to my eyes so actually i'm gonna change my statement uh, i think this is a three out of five yeah <laughs> is it unique no it's not it's big old tires is it in, is it interesting no it's not very interesting does it have good composition uh, no it doesn't <laughs> is it aesthetic yes i think it definitely has its own aesthetic um is it funny i mean big old tires come on now uh is it shareable It's up for debate. I don't think it is, but I might I, I might share it for uh, company purposes. Uh, so that's all I'm going to do right now, and uh, we're going to come back.